boys and girls. So today I have a really fun activity we're gonna do. I love doing this activity with my students in class. Since we can't do it there, I'm gonna do it at my house and use my kiddos to help me out. Today I have a little container of ladybugs and ladybugs are awesome for roses because ladybugs love to eat something called aphids and aphids like to eat rose leaves and roses. So I have my beautiful roses here that I'm gonna just sprinkle some of the ladybugs onto the children's hands and I'll open it up in front of you so you can see them first. Let's see, oh, here we go. I get to see all the ladybugs. And now guys, they're gonna fly, that's okay. Come sprinkle them onto the roses. Why are they orange? Let's put some over here on this. Put them underneath. Put the whole just sprinkle some there, some there. Sprinkle some on that one. They really feel kind of cool as they tickle, except I don't want them to go in my sleeve. And you can count. You'll notice that they don't all have the same number of spots. Some have more, some have less. I thought the backs were orange. No, I flew at my face. I know, I thought they were red. Some ladybugs got death. Put the whole thing in there. Okay, we'll put it down. Here we go. Let's release these ones. Watch. You can carefully just scoot them onto the rows. Can I have some more, Mommy? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Boys and girls, sometimes if you notice, if you look carefully, you'll find bugs everywhere. So I just was happened to be looking around and I saw that there's this roly-poly climbing on the wall and in addition, there's a lot of little ants climbing and really, really tiny ones. They must have just barely hatched. Little teeny bugs crawling all up and down the wall and the little roly-poly, and this little roly-poly has a kind of like a line down his back, like maybe he has an injury. And there were some other roly-polies right down here. I don't know if you can see them. There are a couple right down here at the base of that. Yeah, going on a bug hunt is super fun and you don't even have to go very far. All it takes is some good looking eyes. You just have to be willing to look and kind of dig around the garden and you can find bugs everywhere. Oh, look friends. We found another really cool insect. I don't know if you can see, it blends right in. It's the exact same color as the rose leaf, but it is a caterpillar and he is munching holes through my rose leaves. I wondered who was eating all these leaves and now I found the culprit. He's very cool if we just watch for a minute. We'll see what happens. Can you see it? Here, come stand up on the wall, Bella, then you can see. And he is just like the very tiny, very hungry caterpillar. Oh, and it feels really funny as he wiggles and squiggles on my hand. He's kind of slowly moving. I can feel it. You can't see it though. Yes, you'd like to hold it. And then carefully. Oh, boys and girls, look at how amazing this caterpillar is. I'm turning my hand upside down and he's not even coming off because his legs are so, have little stick, sticky pads on them. There we go. Mm -hmm. And we want to be very gentle with him. We don't want to hurt him. We okay, just want to look at him. Very still, though. He doesn't even feel like anything. No. Someday this beautiful caterpillar will turn into a butterfly. Should he looks like a cocoon. He will make a cocoon. Right now he's in the feeding stage where he's just eating a lot of food. When he looks like he's a mature caterpillar, so I bet he's getting ready to spin a cocoon for himself, because he's pretty big. When they start out on this bush, they're very tiny. And can you see him nibbling the leaf? He must be very hungry. <gasps> Boys and girls, look. Now we're in my backyard, and we are looking at a plant called a butterfly bush. And this notoriously has lots of caterpillars on it usually. And so we came to look for caterpillars, but instead of a caterpillar, the first thing I noticed was a honeybee. Okay, boys and girls, so now hopefully you can see this 
we found another really cool little bug, and I'm not sure if it's an aphid. I'm going to have to go look up some information. It definitely has wings, and I can see that it has six legs, and it is crawling along the leaf. And I saw another one a minute ago, so I think that this bush does have, um, these foxgloves have a few of these little flying insects on them. But he kind of, he's got yellow legs. I don't know if you can see how bright yellow they are. They're very cool. And those little wings. Can you see him crawling all around? Can you count the legs? One, two, three on that side. And if you were to look at the other side, he would have three on that side as well. Insects love plants and gardens and flowers. And that's why if you have a garden, this is the perfect time of year to go outside and do a bug hunt and see how many bugs you can find. <gasps> Boys and girls, can you see the aphid? I finally found one. That little tiny green dot on the leaf, it's very hard to spot, but that is the aphid. And those are the food that ladybugs love to eat. And that is what our ladybugs are gonna be looking for. <laughs> Do you see all the ladybugs, Jules? Ah! Mom, my, la Mom, my ladybug pet is like under my ladybug. How is it doing this? Do you want mommy? Do you want? Okay, so normally, boys and girls, you would do this at night. Why? So because the ladybugs would be less likely to fly, and they like it when it's cold, and it kind of keeps their um. They'll stay longer. They won't be as active and mobile. In the daytime, they like to fly around more. But it looks like they're finding lots of bugs to eat because they are staying on the roses. Oh, good. They're okay. Thanks for joining us in our ladybug release. I hope you had as much fun watching as we did releasing the ladybugs.